as electric vehicles and renewable energy take center stage in the automotive industry, understanding battery technology has never been more important. In this video, we'll explore how car batteries are made, how they work, and what the future holds for battery tech in the rapidly evolving automotive industry. Let's start with the manufacturing process. This stage begins with the careful selection of raw materials. It's a very important step because the quality and properties of materials impacts the final product's performance and longevity. The four key materials are lithium, nickel, cobalt, and graphite. Lithium, known for their high energy density and efficiency, is a critical component in lithium ion batteries. Nickel is a vital element in nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium batteries. Cobalt enhances energy density and stability in lithium ion batteries, and graphite serves as the anode material in lithium ion batteries, facilitating efficient energy storage. The next step is the production of the battery electrode, which consists of the cathode and anode. The cathode determines the overall capacity and voltage of the battery. The production process for cathode involves combining conductive additives and binders with raw materials such as lithium cobalt oxide or lithium iron phosphate to create a uniform blend. This is followed by applying the mixture to a metal foil, usually aluminum, ensuring a thin and even layer. Then the solvents are removed from the coated foil through a drying process, ensuring a stable and uniform cathode layer. Finally, the dried cathode is pressed to achieve the desired thickness and density. The anode is as important as the cathode as it determines the battery's charge-discharge efficiency. To produce the anode, graphite is blended with conductive agents and binders to create a uniform mixture. This is followed by applying the mixture to a copper foil, and then the anode is dried to remove solvents, similar to the cathode production process. Finally, the dried anode is pressed to achieve the perfect thickness and density. The process continues with the production of the electrolyte, a component that enables the flow of ions between cathode and anode, enabling the battery's operation. The preparation process involves selecting a solvent that ensures good ionic conductivity and stability. This is followed by dissolving lithium salts in the chosen solvents, creating the electrolyte solution. Then stabilizers and performance enhancers are added to improve battery life and safety. The next step is the creation of the battery's home, a plastic container and lid. Usually, automotive battery containers and their lids are made of polypropylene. For a standard 12-volt car battery, the container is segmented into six compartments, or cells, resembling a row of ice cube trays. The lid will be securely fastened to the top of the container once the battery is assembled. The process continues with the making of grids or plates from lead or a lead alloy and other metals. A battery requires both positive and negative plates to facilitate a charge conduction. Following this, the cathode and anode are applied to the grids. Inside the battery, the cathode and anode plates are separated to prevent short circuits. To achieve this, thin sheets of porous insulated material are used as spacers between the plates. These separators feature fine pores that emit electrical current to flow between the plates while simultaneously preventing short circuits, ensuring the battery functions safely and efficiently. The next step involves pairing a positive plate with a negative plate and a separator to form a unit called an element. Each battery cell or compartment in the container holds one element. These elements are then inserted into the cells in the battery case. The cells are connected using a metal, typically lead, which conducts electricity. Finally, the terminals or posts, usually made of lead, are welded onto the battery. With the battery assembly complete, the next step is to fill it with the electrolyte solution. This process involves several steps. The first one is placing the battery cells inside a vacuum chamber. This step is crucial to remove any air and moisture from the cell, creating a void that the electrolyte can thoroughly fill. This guarantees uniform distribution and prevents the formation of air pockets which could compromise the battery's performance. Once the cells are vacuumed, the electrolyte is carefully injected into the casing. It's important to control the exact amount, as too little can lead to poor conductivity and reduced capacity while too much can cause leakage and safety issues. After injection, the cells undergo a soaking period allowing the electrolyte to fully permeate the electrodes, facilitating efficient ion transportation. 
The soaking time may vary from several hours to days depending on the battery type and the materials used. The cover is then attached and the battery undergoes the final stage of processing, charging. This involves connecting the terminals to a power source and charging the battery for an extended period of time, typically several hours. During this time, the chemical composition of the plates changes. The positive plate's paste is converted into a different lead oxide compound, while the negative plate's paste is transformed into a spongy lead. Once the charging process is complete, the battery is labeled and packaged and ready for distribution and use. But how does it all work, right? Well, it's all about chemistry. Batteries rely on chemical potential to store energy, just like other everyday energy sources. Think about it. Logs and oxygen store energy in their chemical bonds, which is released as heat when they are burned. Similarly, gasoline and oxygen mixtures have stored chemical potential energy that is converted into mechanical energy in a car engine. Car batteries work by converting chemical energy into electrical energy through a process called electrochemistry. When the battery is connected to a circuit like a car's electrical system, a chemical reaction occurs. The cathode releases lead ions into the electrolyte and the anode releases electrons into the external circuit. The lead ions flow through the electrolyte to the anode, where they combine with the electrons to form lead. This process creates an electrical potential difference, voltage, between the cathode and anode, driving electric current through the circuit. As the battery discharges, the lead ions are reduced at the cathode, and the electrons are oxidized at the anode. When the battery is recharged, like when the car's alternator charges the battery, the process reverses. The lead ions are oxidized at the cathode, releasing electrons into the external circuit. The electrons flow back into the anode, reducing the lead ions to lead. This cycle of discharging and recharging allows the car battery to provide electrical energy to the vehicle systems and accessories. Over time, the battery's capacity to hold a charge may decrease due to wear and tear, but proper maintenance and care can extend its lifespan. Over the years, the automobile industry has experienced a lot of development, and this has brought about changes in the usage and development of car batteries. Currently, car batteries are undergoing a rapid evolution with ongoing research and development aimed at improving performance, safety, and sustainability. As the world embraces eco-friendly transportation, breakthroughs in electric vehicle battery technology are accelerating at an impressive pace. There's a rise in demand for lithium-ion batteries. Currently, Lithium-ion batteries are one of the most sought-after technologies for the energy density and use cases. More innovations can be expected in battery type, energy density, charging speed, and overall safety features in the coming years. Lithium sulfur batteries are also emerging as a technology with use cases in the automobile industry. Known for their high energy density and relatively lower cost, lithium sulfur batteries are said to use more sustainable materials compared to lithium-ion batteries. Another new technology in the automotive industry is solid-state batteries. At present, it's one of the most promising battery technology innovations that could revolutionize the EV industry. The solid-state battery uses a solid electrolyte instead of liquid electrolytes, which are instead behind lithium-ion technology. Solid-state batteries have a higher energy density than the standard lithium-ion counterparts, which means that they can store more energy in the same volume. There's also the case of silicon anode batteries, which are becoming increasingly popular as they can store more energy compared to graphite anodes. Silicon typically has a higher energy density, enabling it to store more energy. Battery recycling and urban mining are also taking place as these processes enable the extraction of metals at higher purity levels at lower capex than mining. Industry players, including battery producers and EV manufacturers, are concentrating on enhancing battery energy density and rapid charging capabilities. Additionally, they are closely monitoring technological advancements to extend battery lifespan and enable recycling, making EV adoption more accessible to the masses. So there you have it, the manufacturing, functionalities, and future evolution of car batteries. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed learning about the manufacturing of car batteries, be sure to share your opinions in the comment section below. Like the video and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content.